Today is our 14th video on graph theory where we'll discuss all pair shortest path. So prior to this in video number 13, in video number 12, in video number 11 and in video number 10, we have discussed single source shortest path using what Bellman Ford algorithm and using what using Bellman Ford algorithm and using a uh, de Castro algorithm but now we'll will discuss all pair shortest path now you have to understand what is all pair shortest path and what is different between single source shortest path in single source shortest path suppose this is the graph a b c d and e suppose this is the graph and i have to i'm using single source shortest path i'm using single source shortest path so let me tell you what single source shortest path is all about and what is all pair shortest path so in single source shortest path i i was calculating shortest distance from a to b shortest distance from a to c shortest distance from a to d shortest distance from a to e what is common every time this a this a that is i have considered the source a and i was calculating the shortest distance from a to b a to d a to c a to e so this is what a was common in every every distance but now my job is not to make a single source my job is to make every node a source and find the minimum distance from all the pair that is shortest distance from a to b shortest distance from b to d shortest distance from b to a shortest distance from uh, from a to e shortest distance from e to c shortest distance from e to a that is there will be a complete graph there will be a complete graph and you know what complete graph is that where every edge is adjacent to every edge that is you have to make a complete graph and you have to find what is the minimum weight what is the minimum length from every vertex to every vertex so this is the actual difference between all pair shortest path and single source shortest path so today our job is to discuss all pair shortest path which is using flowed Warshall algorithm and what we are doing here question again i'm telling you i always discuss question first based on algorithm that is i follow reverse engineering and then i discuss algorithm because because of that you can can easily understand the algorithm if i discuss algorithm first it will become tough for you that's what i'm talking about so let's understand the algorithm let's understand the question based on flowed washer algorithm so uh, okay so you have given two graph one weighted graph and the weighted matrix so what is flowed washer let's understand so flowed washer algorithm is used to find all pair shortest path very important line for a given weighted graph and definitely uh, as we have discussed in what as we have discussed in uh crystals as we have discussed in prims we have dis discussed in decastra we have discussed in prims all there we have used weighted graph only fine as a result of this algorithm it will generate a matrix it will generate a matrix so this is what you are watching so you, what you will be given you will be given a weighted graph now you have to make a weighted matrix you have i have already discussed in video number one what is weighted matrix i'll repeat it again no issue no need to, need not to worry so what is weighted matrix how many vertex are there r s t u so make it r s t u r s t u generally weighted matrix every time weighted matrix is n cross n matrix this is four cross four matrix fine so is there any distance from r to r yes there is a distance there is a there is a edge from r to r which is seven so write seven weight is there any uh, thing from r to s uh, r to s yes there is a path from r to s and the weight of that path is five so i've written five is there any path from r to t any adjacent edge from r to t no there is no direct edge from r to t so because of that i am writing zero hope you understand hope you remember adjacency matrix we have already discussed if there is a adjacent oh, edge adjacent edge from two no in two nodes will write one if there is no then i'll write zero similarly i'm using zero if there is adjacent i'll use the weight fine okay is there any any uh, word any uh, distance from direct distance from r to u uh, no there is no distance from r to u there is a distance from u to r but not from r to u so i'll write zero so in a similar fashion i'll fill the entire matrix so this is what weighted matrix so this is what weighted matrix this is what weighted matrix is all about fine okay now let me let me let me let me discuss everything so which will represent the minimum distance from any node to uh, all other node so 
I'll use this matrix and I'll calculate the final matrix. I'll calculate the final matrix. Now this this line is for the final matrix, which will represent that final matrix will represent the minimum distance from any node to all other node in the graph. So finally, I have to you know search. I have to create those matrix. I have to create such a matrix that by watching that matrix, I can say what is the this minimum distance from R to R. What is the minimum distance from R to S? What is the minimum distance from R to T? What is the minimum distance from S to T? What is the minimum distance? So final matrix. So I have I have to wait for that final matrix. So let's start with that final matrix. Okay. So let's start with that final matrix. So uh, okay. Let's move further. So here you have given that same weighted graph, uh, same weighted matrix which we have already discussed. I will not discuss it once again uh, because I've just discussed few seconds before. And this is the formula which you have to use. I will not use formula. I will give you a trick. I will give you a trick to solve this question and that trick by using that trick you can solve any question within five minutes if I will use this formula to to make that matrix which I'm talking about it will take more than 16 minutes but I am giving you a trick by using that trick you will use that formula only but using the trick you can solve the question within five minutes so let's see the trick so what I will do first of all now what is that matrix so if now see how many nodes you have so how many nodes you have number of nodes you have number of nodes how many nodes you have you have four number of nodes so you have to make how many matrix you have to make four matrix so you have to make four matrix that is matrix one matrix two matrix three matrix four you have to four matrix and that fourth matrix will give you the answer suppose you have number of node five then the fifth matrix will give you the answer similarly suppose you have n number of nodes so the nth matrix will give you the answer so you might be thinking if i'll keep on filling the matrix it will take a time but i am giving you a guarantee i will give you a trick that by using that trick that you can solve the question very easily so let's start with the question so i'll make first first matrix which is not a part of these four i have to make four matrix q1 q2 q3 and q4 before that i'm creating q0 matrix which is which is actually the part of this matrix fine so first of all i have to make q0 matrix so let's let start with q0 matrix so this is q0 matrix in q0 matrix what you actually do in q0 matrix what you actually do where there is a weight you keep right weight only 7 5 but where there is a 0 you write infinity so in q0 matrix what you do in q0 matrix what you do where there is a weight you write weight where there is a zero you write infinity so again seven infinity infinity two then you have infinite three infinite infinite four infinite one and infinite so this is what q0 matrix is all about so fine what you did you have created q0 matrix is that q0 matrix is part of those matrix which i'm talking about no you have to make four matrix that is q1 q2 q3 and q4 because there are four vertex so let's start with uh, matrix okay so i'm changing uh, i will change color for every matrix so uh, right now i'm making q1 matrix so for q1 matrix what you do for making q1 matrix what you do you select first row and first column of above matrix first row and first column of ab above matrix so what is first row 7 5 infinite infinite and first column 7 7 infinite 4 you select them so i've selected them you select them i've selected them now to calculate this element you put perpendicular on these two elements perpendicular means this and this you know perpendicular 90 degree so suppose i'm putting perpendicular so add this 7 plus 5 what is 7 5 12 and you just see in a previous matrix what was this position it was infinity which is minimum 12 or infinity 12 so write 12 fine now if you have to find this so keep put perpendicular on selected item not on 12 so what is selected item 7 and what is infinity 7 plus infinity is infinity and in previous matrix here it was infinity which is minimum infinity fine now for this 7 plus infinity 7 you put perpendicular so 7 plus infinity is infinity and here you have 2 which is minimum 2 you write 2 again fast now fast now for this element you have to put perpendicular on selected element so 5 plus infinity is infinity so uh, and here you have 3 which is minimum 3 so i'll write 3 so i'll not put perpendicular now i'll, I'll make it fast again 
infinity plus infinity is infinity and here you have infinity so which is minimum infinity now you put perpendicular infinity plus infinity is infinity and here you have infinity so infinity will come now for this element uh, you you put perpendicular 5 plus 4 is 9 and here you have infinity which is minimum 9 for this element you put perpendicular infinity plus 4 is infinity and here you have 1 so which is minimum 1 and for this element infinity plus 4 is infinity and here you have infinity so what will be the minimum infinity will be minimum so for making q1 matrix you took help of q0 now you will make q2 matrix so again i'll change the color of my pen uh, i'll make q2 matrix i'll make q2 matrix so for making q2 matrix i'll take the help of q1 matrix q1 matrix so what i'll do for q2 i'll select second row second column so what is second row what is second row 7 12 infinity and 2 and what is second column 5 12 3 and 9 so i'll select them i'll select them i'll select them and for other element again what i'll do i'll do the same thing i'll put the perpendicular i'll put the perpendicular so for this element put the perpendicular on selected element 7 plus 5 is 12 and here you have 7 which is minimum 7 now you do 5 plus infinity is infinity here you have infinity so infinity for here 5 you put perpendicular 5 plus 2 is 7 and here you have infinity so finally which is minimum 7 is minimum for this element 7 plus 3 is 10 here you have infinity so what you will write 10 so for q2 you will watch q1 not q0 fine okay for this element 3 plus infinity is infinity and you have infinity over here so which is minimum infinity for this element 3 plus 2 is 5 and you have infinity over here so finally this infinity is changed to 5 5 okay now for this element uh, uh now for this element this so this element 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 is what 7 plus 9 is 16 and here you have 4 which is minimum 4 is minimum so i'll write write 4 now for this element infinity plus 9 is infinity and here you have 1 so you will write 1 and again for uh, this element uh, you have we will put perpendicular 2 plus 9 is 11 and here you have infinity so what will be the element 11 because 11 is minimum so you have created q2 matrix you, you have created q2 matrix finally you have created q2 matrix so uh, what i'll do i'll make q3 matrix because i know i have to create how many matrices i have to create uh, how many matrices i have to create four matrix so i'll make q3 matrix fine i'll make q3 matrix so i'll make q3 so for q3 what i'll do i'll select third row third column for which from which matrix third row third column from qt for q3 you will select use q2 for q2 you use q1 for q1 you use q0 so third row what is third row 10 3 so i'm writing here 10 3 infinity and 5 and what is third column uh, infinity infinity uh, make it a little bit closer infinity and at last you have one so what i did i have selected these element fine i've selected these element okay i've selected this element now i have to find uh this element now this element 10 plus i will put perpendicular which is a 10 plus infinity is infinity and here you have 7 so which is minimum 7 for this element you put perpendicular 3 plus infinity is infinity and here you have 5 so you will put 5 fine for this element 5 plus infinity is infinity and you have 7 over here so you put 7 fine for this element uh for this element you put perpendicular 10 plus infinity is infinity no you put perpendicular on selected item so 10 plus infinity is infinity and here you have 7 so you'll write 7 uh, I'll make it 7 very clearly. Okay. Now, uh, you put uh, uh, perpendicular. 3 plus infinity is infinity and what you have here, uh, you have 12. So, write 12. Now, for this element. So, for this element, uh, you put select, uh, uh, perpendicular. 5 plus infinity is infinity and what you have here, 2. So, you write 2. What you have in second row, 2. Fine. Now, fourth row. 10 plus 1 is 11 and what you have 4. So, which is minimum 4. I'll write 4. 3 plus 1 is 4 what you have 9 so which what you will put 4 over here fine and for uh, this 5 plus 1 is 6 and here you have 11 which is minimum 6 so i'll make it 6 now i have made q3 and i'll now make the last matrix the last matrix is my q4 matrix i'll make it with green color because green is the signal of gold 
fine okay so q4 for q4 i'll what i'll do i'll use q3 matrix and what i'll do i'll select fourth row that is 7 uh fourth row uh, and fourth column so let me select the fourth column first 7 2 5 and 6 this is fourth column and what is fourth row 4 4 4 4 let me make a distance 4 4 1 6 so i'll select this fourth row i'll select this fourth column and now i will make this so i'll make perpendicular i'll write perpendicular on both the elements so 4 plus 7 is 11 and here you have 7 so which is minimum 7 for this element 4 plus 7 is 11 and here you have 5 so 5 is minimum 7 plus 1 is 8 and here you have infinity which is minimum 8 so this has become 8 opposite of infinity you can say i'm just it's a, just a joke uh find it's eight now now for this element four plus two is six and here you have seven so what is this will become six now for this element four plus two is six and here you have 12 so this will become six so for this element one plus two is three and here you have infinity fine so this will become three fine okay now for this element uh, 4 plus 5 is 9 and here you have 10 so this will become 9 so for this element 5 you will put perpendicular on selected element so 4 plus 5 is 9 and here you have here you have 3 so 9 which is minimum 3 is minimum so I'll use 3 no I'll not change so what 5 plus 6 5 plus 1 is 6 and here you have infinity so what it will be 6 which is minimum 6 is minimum so finally this is finally the q4 is the final matrix so I'll remove this selected element so this is my final matrix so this is my final matrix so what my final matrix is revealing is I'll just tell you make it R S T U r s t u that is if you want to go from r to r you have to spend seven dollar so r to r seven which is fixed from r to s from r to s you have to spend five dollar which is five which is absolutely fine it is fine okay fine from r to t from r to t you have to spend eight dollar eight r to t so which route you will follow this five and this to seven and this one so five to seven and one eight fine so this eight again again there is a method of finding root also but i'm just discussing how to solve this so you can write eight over here fine okay not eight i cannot put eight fine okay and from r to u seven fine similarly from s to r six from s to s six from uh from s to s you will see that there is no path from s to s but there is a path how many what which path you go from this place to you come from this place 2, 1, 3 and again 3. So from S to S, you have to spend 6. So finally, which is very true, which is you are getting exactly. So this is the final matrix. This is the final answer of flowed Warshall algorithm where you have solved. So what what the method I told you, this is, a, this is the easiest method which you can use. So if there are n number of vertex you have to make n matrix so since in in a given graph there were only four vertex r s t u so i have created only four matrix but there was one extra matrix q0 which was just a image of w matrix this q0 was image of w where we have used weight in place of weight but infinity in place of zero fine okay so this is the final uh, solution of what flowed virtual algorithm